First thing I would tell people, you know, just starting out doing billboards, is uh, do them during the day. Because if you do them at night, you look like an outlaw. If you do, do, do them during the day, then you look like that's your job. I mean, obviously you're up to, if it's night, you're, you know, the real billboard guys don't go out at night. So obviously you're doing something. Um, I think the second thing I would say is, is make them look as professional as possible. No matter what the message is, you know, what you're trying to say, make them look super slick. Like the time we got like a second degree fel felony down in Dallas, I think one of the big reasons that we got popped is A, we were doing too many in one spot, but B, I was letting a lot of people like come do billboards that had, you know, absolutely no artistic talent. And they looked like grade school kids were doing these weird billboards and, and they were also, you know, awfully controversial. And it was just, there was no doubt that we were up to something. There was no question, you know. It's actually, the materials I use is quite, quite simple. Um, you just go to a hardware store or a paint store and get uh, wallpaper paste. The same stuff you put up wallpaper with and it's the same stuff they use. And I would, uh, I have ran from the police and gotten away before, but it's generally not a really good idea to run from the police because if, they, if you run and they catch you, you know, they could beat the shit out of you or get you for resisting arrest. They're going to be very angry by the time they catch you. You're a lot better off just chatting them up and acting like nothing, nothing's wrong because many of the time the police have come by and talked to me for a while and just because I'm so casual, I, I think they probably thought I wasn't up to anything and they weren't sure at first. Oh. Uh -huh.